Hello, everyone. You're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is the square root of x plus 5 plus the square root of x minus 5. This is equal to 10. So what is the value of x? Now, let's provide a solution from here. To solve this problem, let's apply two methods here. Let's start with method 1. We have the square root of x plus 5 then plus the square root of x, subtract 5, this is equal to 10. So the first here, the first step here is to square on both sides, so that now the square root of x plus 5 plus square root of x minus 5 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared, then plus 2 times a, b. Applying this algebraic identity, then we have the square root of x plus 5 raised to the power of 2, then plus the square root of x subtract 5 raised to the power of 2, then plus 2, multiplied by square root of x plus 5, multiplying by square root of x, subtract 5, everything here, cross the parenthesis, this is equal to 10 squared, and this is equal to 100. Now, let's eliminate the square root sign here, so that we have x plus 5, then plus, again, we, we can eliminate the square root sign here, so that we have plus x minus 5, then plus 2, into the parenthesis, this is the square root of x plus 5, multiplied by square root of x, subtract 5, cross the parenthesis, this is equal to 10 squared, which is 100. The next step is that we have x plus x here, this is 2x, then plus 5 minus 5, this simplifies, then plus, here we have 2, into the parenthesis, this is the square root of x plus 5, multiplied by square root of x, subtract 5, cross the parenthesis, this is equal to 100. We have that the square root of x plus 5 times square root of x minus 5, this is in the form of square root of a times square root of b, which can be expressed as the square root of a times b. So we have 2x plus 2 into the parenthesis. This is the square root of x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 5. This is equal to 100. So we have 2x plus 2 into the parenthesis. This is the square root of x times x, this is x to the power of 2, then x times minus 5, this is minus 5x, then we have 5 times x, this becomes plus 5x, then we have 5 times minus 5, this is minus 25, cross the parenthesis, this is equal to 100. Now let's take 2x on the right hand side, so that you have 2 into the parenthesis, this is the square root of x squared minus 5x plus 5x, this simplifies, then we have x squared minus 25, cross the parenthesis, this is 100 minus 2x. So the next step is to square on both sides, so we have 2 multiplied by square root of x squared minus 25, Everything here raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 100 minus 2x. Everything here raised to the power of 2. So from here, we have 2 to the power of 2. This is actually equal to 4. Multiplied by square root of x squared minus 25 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 100 minus 2x raised to the power of 2. 
So let's eliminate the square root sign here so that we have 4 into the parentheses. This is x squared minus 25. This is equal to, now we have 100. This is in the form of a minus b to the power of 2, which can be expressed as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab. So in this case, we have 4 multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus 25. This is equal to 100 squared. We have 100 squared. Then plus, this is 2x to the power of 2. Then subtract 2 times 100 times 2x. So let's open the parentheses here. 4 times x squared, this is 4, x to the power of 2, then subtract 4 times 25, this is minus 100, this is equal to 100 squared, this is the same thing as 10,000, then plus 2x squared, this is 4, x to the power of 2, then subtract 100 times 2, times 2x here, so this is the same thing as 400, x now the next step we have 4x squared and 4x squared here so this simplifies so that now we have minus 100 this is equal to this is equal to 10,000 minus 400x Now we have minus 100, this is equal to 10,000 minus 400x. So from here, let's take minus 400 on the left hand side. So minus 400x becomes 400x. This is equal to 10,000. Now let's take minus 100 on the right hand side. So this becomes plus 100. So that now here we have 400x. This is equal to 10,000. 100. So let's divide both signs by 400 so that now here we have that x is equal to this is 25.25. So this is the value of x by applying method 1. So let's proceed to method 2 from here. Method 2. Now, by applying method 2 here, let's take square root of x minus 5 on the right hand side so that you have the square root of x plus 5. This is equal to 10 minus square root of x subtract 5. Now, the next one, by applying method 2 here, we have the square root of x plus 5 plus square root of x minus 5. This is equal to 10. So let's take the square root of x minus 5 on the right hand side. So this means we have the square root of x plus 5. This is equal to 10. Subtract the square root of x minus 5. So the next step is to square on both sides. So that now we can eliminate the square root sign here. So that we have x plus 5. This is equal to 10. Subtract the square root of x minus 5 raised to the power of 2. Now, this is in the form of a subtract b raised to the power of 2, which you can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then we have x plus 5. This is equal to 10 squared. Then plus the square root of x, subtract 5. This is raised to the power of 2. Then subtract 2 times 10, multiplying by square root of x minus 5. So we have x plus 5. This is equal to 10 squared, which is equal to 100. Then plus, now let's eliminate the square root sign here. So this is x minus 5, then subtract 2 times 10 here. This is 20 
multiplying by square root of x minus 5. So we have that x here and x here simplifies. Then we have 100 minus 5 here. So this is 5. This is equal to 100 minus 5. This is 90. 5 minus 20 square root of x minus 5. Now let's take plus 95 on the left hand side so that we have 5 minus 95. This is equal to minus 20 square root of x minus 5. So this is minus 90. This is equal to minus 20 square root of x subtract 5. So let's eliminate the square root sign here. So that now we have 20 square root of x subtract 5. This is equal to 90. So let's square on both sides from here. So 20 squared, this is 400, multiplying by square root of x minus 5 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 90 squared, and this is 8100. So let's eliminate the square root sign here. So that now we have 400 multiplied by x minus 5. This is equal to 81. So 400 times x, this is 400x minus 400 times 5, this is 2000, this is equal to 8100. Let's take minus 2000 on the right hand side, so that we have 400x, this is equal to 8100 plus 2000 so here we have 400 x this is equal to 8100 plus 2000 this is 10,100 so let's divide both signs by 400 here we have 400 so that now the value of x here is equal to 25.25 5. So both method 1 and method 2 use the same same result here, which is 25.25. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.